so let's continue with our remaining chapter of polynomials so let's start with factor theorem factor theorem uh, so the statement says that if x minus a is a factor of p e of x then p e of a is equal to 3 so that implies that x minus a is equal to 0 make x the subject and substitute the value of x and p e of x Do bear in mind that for a factor theorem, the remainder is zero. Let's start with a question. I have a question which says that p of x equals 2x cubed minus ax plus 3 as a factor x minus 2 find a so what we can see that x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 we just need to substitute in this expression so p of 2 is equal to 0 and 2 into 2 q minus a into 2 plus 3 is equal to 0 just solve it up so 2a becomes 2 into a plus 3 so 2a is 19 and a becomes 9.5 now comes the question when to use long division and when to use the remainder and factor theorem if we have our factor which is if our factor is linear if our factor is linear that means that we are safe to apply remainder and factor theorem if our factor is non-linear it is except for a straight line anything non-linear then we have to apply long division let's see another question the question is the polynomial the polynomial x cube plus 2x plus a where a is a constant where a is a constant is denoted by it is given that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x find the value of a so what you can say that p of x is equals to x cube plus 2x plus a and p of x plus 2 becomes x is equal to negative 2 so p of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 whole q plus 2 into minus 2 plus a this must be equal to 0 so the value of a 
12 8 minus 4 8 equals to 4 So do bear in mind that we had our factor x plus 2 which was linear so we applied the factor theorem. So if we had a non-linear factor then we must have applied the long division. Let's see another question. So we have a question that the polynomial x to the power 4 plus 3x squared plus 8 where a is a constant is denoted by p of x. It is given that x squared plus x plus 2 is A factor of p of x. Find the value of a and the other quadratic factor of p of x. So, as you can see, that the factor is x square plus x plus b, to which is non-linear. So, what we need to do is see that the factor is non-linear. So, we need to apply long division. So, let's move forward. First, we will multiply x square with x square. So this will become x raised to the power four plus x cube plus two x square. Our next step is to change signs. Negative. This becomes negative. This also becomes negative. So we get over here zero minus x. Plus x square plus a. Now we need to multiply x square with minus x to make it minus x cube. So I will multiply it with minus x. So this will become minus x cube plus x minus x square minus x square minus two x. So this becomes we have changed the signs. So this becomes two x square plus two x plus a. Now what we need to do is multiply this x square with two to make it two x square. So this becomes multiplied by two becomes two x square plus two x plus four. So now we need to change signs again. This positive becomes negative. This positive becomes negative. So this becomes a minus four. So our remainder is a minus four, which must be zero. So a minus four is equal to zero. So the value of a is four. So that's our value of a, and our other quadratic factor. Is x square minus x plus two, and do bear in mind that x square minus x plus two, x square plus x plus two multiplied by x square minus x plus two would give us x to the power four plus x cube plus x square plus a, where a is four divided by. 